It's Madden NFL 22, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Bills and the Titans, coming up next. All in all, we have a pretty pleasant December day in the Volunteer State. The chilly rain from last night has moved on. The temps have bumped up a bit here at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Garden alongside the one and only Charles Davis and CD. Lots of compelling storylines in a game like this. Let's take a look at some of the numbers for these two offenses. And I'm glad you brought up the numbers because sometimes it's hard to quantify a team's performance solely by judging the numbers. But I think with these two teams, what you see is a pretty accurate representation of who they are. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go from Nashville. This will be fielded inside the five. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And out will come the leader of this offense. And that, of course, is their signal caller. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. out there stretching zone coverage by running that route deep enough before breaking it back towards the sideline and being open. And a precise throw for the reception in the first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A give to Smith out of the gun. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon.
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Price. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now a play fake here on first down. Forced out to his left. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the Let's end. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown! From 19 yards away. And the Bills take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted, was it an audible, or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Extra point attempt here still to come. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that tells me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. Now McNair looking for a first down throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Let's we'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try the left side. George, and he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. 
Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. That's a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 48-yard line. Now McNair. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. One thing you do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Second down and three. McNair. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Okay, I'm not so great at math. I just looked over at our statistician, Marvin, and he signaled to me five for five to get things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what do you do defensively to adjust? Well, this is where you've got to make a decision as, your defensive, as a defensive coordinator. Do you really get after the quarterback? Or maybe you tighten down on the receivers, bump the ball to their routes, chip away at their timing so things aren't as precise as they've been in so far in this game. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 11 now. McNair to throw. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. It's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So now the Titans are going to call upon their field goal unit here. Spotted at the left, hash this from 45. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they are on the board, but still trailing at seven to three. So yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. Kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. We're playing to win. Let's go. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field. But, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field. But also, when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Here we go. Here we go. After one, Here seven, go. three, the score on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll set up to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he... Now Mike Vrabel unsure of that last call. He's going to throw out the red flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. play fake he'll look to throw looking middle and it's incomplete i like the look of that play right from the beginning i thought he should have seen the coverage that was there tried to force it in that one he's fortunate just fell incomplete they tried to throw on second down unsuccessful now it's third and one the play action fake they'll look to throw and this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around. And I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Well, the Bills send the punter out. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No, what was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. Able to break the tackle, but then quickly brought down just outside of the five. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. On second down, it's George. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Here's McNair. 
They set up the screen for Henry. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it. But to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Here's Brett Kern now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. football it's picked up by the titans and his guys are going to take over at the 34 yard line and maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt return sometimes they forget paramount holding on to that football i really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves when i get the ball i'm gonna make the play that's gonna change yeah, the I'm game gonna break it i'm gonna break it and you love that they have that attitude but your point is so well taken what do you have to do First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. On first down, it's George. And a short gain down to about the 33. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On second down now, it's George. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. To throw, McNair. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got him. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. He got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll try and run for it, and nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. He needed a couple, but he didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. Start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. That's Price. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. here on first down going deep for Diggs and that's going to wind up incomplete however we do have a flag down let's check in with our referee so a costly penalty yardage wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul 
And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. They'll look to throw here on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Reed. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. He'll look to throw. This is caught. Touchdown, Bills. Yeah, good job. From 13 yards out. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down. So I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Point after try, forthcoming. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From the six. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Tennessee offense set to go again. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming, the first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old-school defense right now the new school defense is what you said taking the ball away now this throw caught left side and he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two minute warning you in just a couple of minutes we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman coach will run through some of the numbers and the next gen stats from this first half of football so far and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something, and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball who just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now McNair. And he comes back with one complete. 
And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 40. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Throw left side complete. That's Mason. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. And I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. So that challenge, a successful one. Second down and eight. They'll look to throw again. And it's caught. And it's a Titans touchdown. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Titans get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing. Don't they? Don't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it ends with a Tennessee score. offense heading back out there and he's been good two first half touchdown passes no interceptions so far does a lot for your confidence does a great deal for your team gives them a lead and they're feeling really good about how they're playing I think he expects to throw at least another one I was gonna say now he wants the first half hat trick doesn't he oh without a doubt go ahead and fling him on the field folks he wants that type of celebration They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Going deep for Diggs. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it, and then run with the football. Yeah, and this just looked like a simple, ordinary play to start, but boy, did things change. Once he got free, it was off to the races, and once he hit high gear, there's absolutely no one who was going to stop him. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. Now for the point after. 
It's good, and it's 21-10. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. Complete, it's Henry. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll make this a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. 51 to Mike, boy, 51. Looking to throw, McNair. He dumps it off for Henry, and he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So just three yards on the completion there, and that is going to set up a third and one. Back to throw, McNair. Being chased out left. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Down, it's McNair. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. A final shot before break. McNair, he's going to throw one up for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills taking the lead 